Hello and welcome back to the Flower Gold Wizard Channel. I'm Jason. That's Rigby. We're part-time gold prospectors based in Wisconsin. We've got some company along today. Everybody knows Ryan. You guys. And we got Sam here today. Me and Sam worked together. He wanted to go mining, so we took him mining. And we're down here. We didn't know what the water was going to be like. And apparently they got a flood. Look at this grass here. That's a good six foot drop down there. The water came right down around the creek here and smashed up and over the top of the bank right here. There's a lot of water here. So I think we're going to have a whole new pile of gold to play with today. And I brought some really cool new equipment. We're going to give that a try. Wait till you see that. Back in a bit. All right, we made it to our location. And there is a lot more water here than there has been here in the past. Uh, even a couple of months. Oh, this was dry land right here. There's a little bit of water running right over here. And uh, there, there's really good amounts of gold here. Uh, we just haven't been able to find any larger pieces here. But there's plenty of floor. And I brought with me today dun, 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 a gravity-fed high banker system. And I'm going to go ahead and get that thing hooked up right now. Rigby's looking for a really good deposit I can work. And he always finds that it's been a few weeks since he got, he's gotten out. It's been so darn hot. So let me take a few minutes and get this baby set up and wait till you see. Back in a bit. All right. Now, I'm starting to get this thing set up here. And it's just a few legs and a couple of this and a couple of that. But I want to make sure I have it in the right spot. Now, on past adventures here, I like Ryan caught a fish. <laughs> what kind of fish is that? Oh. A little sucker, it looks like. Yeah. yeah. So anyway, I want to make sure that I'm set up near the spot that I want to find gold. And we have found pretty good gold here in the past. It's really flower, flowery gold, no big pieces like I said before. But I still want to have it close to the, to the, the high banker I'm going to set up. And I want to make sure I'm close to water because of the way this system works, which we'll see in just a little bit. So let me get this thing set up right here where I'm going to dig so I can just shovel right onto this baby. Back in a bit. All right, we are ready. Now let me show you this thing here. Now what I did is I just have my high banker here and a five gallon pail sitting on these arms, just like that. See this here? And I just screwed a fitting into the bottom and the water just drains on out of there at about six to 800 GPH per hour. Now I have my, my silicone mat in there. See, he's dumping a pail in there. And it usually takes right around 30 seconds for the water to make its way through the pail onto my high banker here, down the mat. And I have another sluice set up underneath that one. Now it's got it's a little, the water's a little bit underpowered for this particular mat, but I do believe that we can make this happen with just a little bit more pitch. And I have room to play with the adjustments on this system right here. As you can see, it's coming down and down. And this here seven inch mat, six to 800 GPH an hour is gonna work just fine on. Like I said, we got a lot of water here. So in the long run, I think if I need to, I could just set the sluice up anywhere I want over in there. But the top mat is gonna work just fine. You can see it's cleaning out real well. And like every 30 seconds or so, he's gotta dump a little pail in there and he scoops. And the more water you have in the pail at one time, the more pressure is coming out of there and down onto my system here. But I do notice that the material is starting to turn dark color in there. So this might not be all the worst. Here it comes again. So we're gonna get to work here. Give this about an hour and see what happens. Back in a bit. Really turning black up in here. I think it's worth it. 
Not too darn bad, is it, fellas? Yeah. <laughs> See, it's not just yeah. running out of there. And you get about 30 yeah. seconds in between pails. Yeah. I'll take a little walk down here. We've been running a little bit, not very long at all. And that material is definitely turning black. So I'm not concerned about that one bit. One bit at all. I don't know if I want to let it sit too long with uh, full of black sand. But I'm thinking we'll be able to get an hour out of this at least before all these are filled with black sand and we can take a look at it. But that is absolutely running fantastic. Ryan's down here digging in the hole we left off in last time. Here's a look at that material. And in it goes. Just like that. Give it a little push around and off it goes. Now two guys can run this, but it takes three to film it. <laughs> Isn't that right, Rigby? I learned a thing or two from him. I tell you. All right, I almost broke my own rule again. Test, test, test. Now Ryan, he's taking a break from the high banker here, and he's been doing a little poking around here and poking around there. And he says he's not finding a whole lot, but then again, he said that last time we were here. <laughs> so I'm gonna do a test pan right out of the same hole that we're digging here. We got a pretty good sized pile of tailings building up here. And I, I just wanna make sure we're not shoveling and dumping buckets of water for nothing. Right? That's right. <laughs> so let's do a little test pan, see what's in it. And now I've got it down to a manageable amount of material here where I can film and pan at the same time. We'll do that together, just to see. Nice having all this fresh water in here. No black, no, no brown, stinky water, nothing. It's nice and fresh, and it's cool out. And I haven't been hit by a bug yet. I do not have bug spray on. All right, we've got that down to just about where I want it. Let me get this out of, out of the glare, or we can take a little look at it. And we'll take a look at it. Well, so far, that's running really well, but my test pan is not. I've only got maybe three or four little tiny pieces of gold in there. Uh, let's see, one, two, three, four, five, five in a test pan here. And it might be a couple more I wash back, but they're really small. But this thing has been running really well. So I think uh, any gold that I have been shoveling into it did get caught in the system. And as you can see, I thought it was going to be just a little bit light on flow, but the pitch seems to be pretty good. And that material turned pitch black all the way down to the very last of these little spinnerets. This whole thing is jam-packed with black sand. So I'm 100% positive that if any gold went, got past this part of the sluice, that it got caught in here. So what I'm going to do right now is take that small section of mat out of there. And I'm going to pan it out just to see what everything is looking like. Because it's still early. And we can always move to another spot if need be. Back in a bit. All right, I've got a pan of water here. I'm just gonna take that mat. I'm gonna slide it right out of there. Right into my pan right here, just like that. Then we'll bring it over here somewhere stable. Right over here. And we'll give it a little rinse. Just like that. There we are, nice and clean. And here's our material. And there's a fair amount in there, but a lot of that is uh, blonde sand and that'll wash right off with the, with the baby in the bath water. So let me get this stuff panned down and we'll see what's in it. And the results. Now we didn't run all that long, maybe, what do you think, 20 minutes? If that. If that. Here's what we got for gold, just in that little top mat. We got quite a few specks in there actually. Uh, but same as always when we come here, no bigger ones. I mean, there's a couple of bigger flakes in there, bigger than some of the really, really small stuff. But there is a fair number of pieces in there. Um, I don't know if the, if the storm messed with the hole, because I started out in the same exact hole I did when I was here last time. But as you can even see up in there, the, the water was up so high, it pushed all those branches and weeds right over. That's, that's five feet all day up in the air. So there was a tremendous amount of water pushing through here. So it just might be a matter of poking around and see if we can't find another spot. 
So I tell you what we'll do, we'll try another half an hour or so in another hole, say downstream just a little bit, maybe one of these uh, upper elevated sections of the creek right here. And if it doesn't get any better there, well, guess what? We've got some really good spots not too far. Yeah. <laughs> All right, let's get back at it. Sam's over here pointing out gold he sees in the, in the green mat here. Uh, that mat right up top there is so short it's never going to catch it all. Yeah, there's a piece in there, sure enough. And I'm sure there's there's more pieces of gold down in there. I, I would guarantee that that top mat's catching the majority of it. This is kind of a safety measure, and it just looks cool, so I hooked it all up together. <laughs> and here's that gold we just found here. I'm going to go ahead and snuffer that up with my new XP snuffer. Just like that. All right, I shut her down. Got another nice pile of tailings there. And my mat is absolutely jam-packed, loaded with black sand. Look in there. So we're going to do a whole clean out, top and bottom, just to see. Because uh, Ryan's chomping at the bit to get to a, a spot we like to call Alpha Bravo. With all that rain, that one might be feasible today because usually there's hardly any water there and it stinks but i think we'll be all right don't you just love watching newbie panners I think I'll do them separately. I'll pan out this great big bottom one. And there is quite a bit of material to go through in there. That's gonna take me a little while. And I'll save the best for last. Well, Sam's still learning. <laughs> I'll give him a couple pointers in just a minute. Uh, now I did all the, all the concentrates from my big green hauler here, my VDR mat. I get that from Infinity Prospecting. And that was two runs right there. Two short runs, but two runs anyways. And there's only four pieces, four little tiny dots out of all that black sand that I pulled out of that mat. Now I have yet to clean this up yet. So I'm gonna go ahead and clean that up. And if there's really good uh, uh, spec count in this mat, like there was the last time for the short amount of time we were running, uh, I don't even have to run that darn thing because this thing is catching it all then. Uh, I'm going to go ahead and clean that all right now. We'll take a look at it. <laughs> and the result from the black one. About the same as we had the first time. Pretty good spec count in there. I'm pretty impressed with the amount, or percentage, I should say, of the gold that that little mat right there is catching compared to this big green one here. So that system is running quite well. I must have just the right pitch. And nine or 10 degrees was working real well on my testing at home. And uh, there are a couple of little bit bigger pieces in here. I'm quite happy with it. So I think what we're gonna do now that we got this thing tested quite well, is uh, we might poke around here a little bit longer, but we, me and Ryan know of a good spot where there should be plenty of water today. We, we can go and get some pretty big pieces of gold. Ryan, do you still have that big nugget you found there the other day? Yeah. Here, let me show you a piece Ryan found the other day. He's got it in his pocket, probably on a on a padlock yep. or something. <laughs> Look at that big old chunk. Yeah. That's where we're headed, I think. We're going to run our high banker yeah. in a spot like that and see if we can't fill up a whole pan full of those. That's a great looking piece. Back in a bit. All right, we made an executive decision. But the amount of water that we've had, there is going to be guaranteed water at Alpha Bravo. So we're headed there right now. Got our gear all loaded up. As you can see, off we go. All right, we made it back to the truck. It's snack time. This snack time is brought to you by Wenzel's Farms. Quality beef sticks, naturally smoked. You want one, Rig? All right, let's get the show on the road. <laughs> All right, we made it. Location Alpha Bravo. Well, this spot here, when the water is running and I can 
effectively pan, etc. I've done better than any spot anywhere ever. More bigger pieces, more smaller pieces, more, more, more. And I really thought the water was gonna be running a little bit more than it is, but it is still running. I mean, we'll have access to fresh water. Uh, perhaps if I just dig a little hole over there, a nice panning station, and that's enough water for my little baby sluice, which I did bring just in case to set up a sluice in here if need be. So we're gonna get to get to work locating the exact spot we wanna find. And there is plenty of spots to choose from around here. Just look at all these gravel deposits. And it's all sitting right on top of that clay layer right there. This is a really good spot. And we're gonna find some big pieces today. That's guarantee. Find it, Rigby, okay. All right, it's been determined that we might have enough water to run my baby sluice. We just got the dam built up there and the water's starting to come up just a little bit. So Sam here is gonna do a little bit of classifying with Russell there. We're gonna fill him up pail of water. We're gonna find some big gold. Sluice is up and running. Ryan's up and running. Yep. <laughs> He's grinding away over here. Look at this material. Just chock full of clay. Oh yeah. Look at this clay layer right here. That is really thick, dense clay. Nothing's getting yeah. through that stuff there. And I'll show you what he's working here. This gravel layer right on top of that clay. He's just skimming this top right here. He's been working this line right here for what looks like to be about a year straight. <laughs> and uh, there's some really nice gravels on top of this stuff. But just because you scrape this gravel off, even even like this, all them big pieces of gold, and little pieces of gold, they're stuck in that first quarter inch or eighth inch in this clay right here. So it's important to get this stuff classified down and shake it around in your pan or whatever you gotta do to loosen up those gold particles to get them into your pan. So we're grinding away. I'm gonna do a clean out in another, I don't know, half an hour or so and see see how we're doing. Back in a bit. And we just did a quick little clean out here. And look at these pieces. Those are nice big chunkers. Way better, way bigger than the, the last spot we were at. And I just did a quick clean out just to see if we were on it, and we are. And I can feel three of these in here. I can roll them around with my finger and they actually roll under my finger. Pretty handsome looking stuff for sure. So now it's just a numbers game. Let's run the numbers. Well, these guys are grinding away. Ryan's finding feelers and pokers and a little bit of this and a little bit of that. He's working that edge of that bank there with all that gravel on top of that clay. Sam's up here running the sluice. He's finding some gold. He's doing some classifying over here. And he's got all the fresh water up here. <laughs> I tell you what, I'm going to do a little exploring. There's a couple of spots down there that look pretty darn tasty that I know Ryan hasn't been sleeping over here and camping on. I'm going to go down there and see if I can find us a nugget. Come along, will you? Much better. I got to keep my voice down. Look at the spec counts in there and look how big they are. Look at this nice piece right there. I can feel that one too. That's the ticket to this spot right here. I think you got to get down through some of this forest degree into that debris, into that uh, original gravel deposits underneath all that stuff. And that's where the gold is over in this area. That's right. We're not going to tell those guys though. <laughs> all right, now I'm getting mad. Me and Rigby are running around the woods exploring everywhere. Yep. He's getting ready to leave. Yep. Sam's over here, the rookie, working by himself. And I come over here and he's panning his sluices. He's got himself a darn picker. Look at that thing. That thing is as thick as all get out. And I just picked it up a second ago. Let's see if I can get that thing again. There, I got it. Look at that. Nice little ch chunky Wisconsin picker. You son of a gun, you. And he's got some other nice gold up in there as well. Let me get that underwater. There's some nice chunks lying in that black sand yet. He didn't get it all the way panned out. But that, that picker made a clunk when it hit the pan there on the on the backstroke. So we're doing all right. We're going to keep plugging away at it. How's your back feeling? Better now that I got a clunker. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> I'm leaving. Yeah. Well, we still got time in the day. 
That place is just so darn spotty. We're moving. Bye. All right, me and Sam got sick of a little bit here, a little bit there, nothing in between too many times. Ryan left, so we came down to a spot I know has some really good gold. And we were here, boy, I don't know, probably over a year ago last since I've been here. And the water is up a little bit, uh, just like it has been everywhere else we tried, except Alpha Bravo. God darn it. But there are some really nice gravel deposits here. And the creek is wide enough here that uh, the current isn't going to blow everything off our shovel while we're shoveling. So let me take a great big huge test pan right out of that random spot right there and i'll show you some gold all right i'm glad we moved nice clean water you can see what you're doing and there's gold here i just did a little quick pan eight inches down there's 10 pieces in there there's nothing larger yet but i just started scratching the surface and i've been here before and i've gotten up to 40 pieces in a pan here so i'm going to scratch around here a little bit and we're going to show you a little something cool Pan number two, new spot. Look at them all. I love this spot. Well, my back's killing me. How's your back feeling? A little tight. A little tight. Uh, we're going to wrap it up for the day. But I just pulled out the last pan of the day, and it had 35 pieces in it. I'll show you that, and then we're going to do a snuff or dump. We're going to get the heck out of here. And there it is right there. 35 pieces in that pan scattered all over the place. We're getting it right off the right right up next to all these big tufts of grass and the gravels built around them and then gray clay underneath them. And there's spots like this, hundreds of spots like this all over the place. Uh, I took a walk down the creek that way a ways, and there's good gold down that way too. So uh you're definitely gonna see me and probably Sam back at this location again. Let me grab my snuffer, we'll do a little dump, clean it up, see what it looks like. And the snuffer dump. We did pretty darn good today for screwing around a couple of unproductive spots there. I'm never going back to that little shallow spot ever again. <laughs> it's just, it's too spotty and the water stinks. But there, and there's great gold to be had, nice clean water, material everywhere you look. And there's great gold to be had. I wish we would have just sat right on this spot all darn day. Look at that nice piece right there. That's a big old picker all day long. Let's see if I can focus in on that thing once here. Oh, yeah. <laughs> There's some great gold in there. Nice. Well, that's going to wrap it up for today's episode of Flower Gold Wizards. You win some, you lose some. I wouldn't call this a loss, but I'd say we did lose some time. Uh, next time we, I come out to this part of the state, I'm going to stick to my guns, and I'm going to run the equipment that I brought all day long, because we could have put 10 times the amount of gold in that pan if we would have just stuck to our guns today. Uh, but we still had fun. It's beautiful out. I didn't get bit by one bug today. you believe that? No bugs. No bugs. It's unbelievable. So until the next episode, like, share, subscribe. Please do leave a comment. It helps build my channel. Flower Gold Wizards and Sam out. Oh.